So we're going to go over how to do application 5, which is about data coding. So I've got it up here. Um, so again, it's we're going to learn how to code questionnaire data into Excel. This is not the most exciting topic. It is a little tedious, but it's an important step in evaluation and ensuring that we're able to properly analyze our data. So you're going to have two separate questionnaires, one's from a school system and one's from a Parks and Recreation Department. Um, they are both about sports and coaching behavior, so apologies for those of you that's not your topic, but um, the plus is this, this is actual real data that I collected, um, so hopefully that'll be of some interest to you. So uh, in this video, I'm going to walk through an example with a different data set. Okay. So the first step is to view the questionnaires and determine short names for your questions. So I'm going to pull up, which of course I had up and then I just closed. So give me one second here. Folder. Okay, here we go. Uh, so here's another different data set. So you're going to see there are lots of questions. In this case, we have um, how much folks agree with a certain statement. And then you know, with that, we've got multiple scales. Here's a, a different scale, but again, it's a level of agreement, another level of agreement. And that's a little different question. Um, and then down here, we've got even a different tile question, asking folks to say how many days in the last 30 they've been healthy or, or not healthy. Okay. Gender, race, and this. These are different types of questions, right? So you're going to want to create simple little names for them. So for example, um, we might say, you know, um, question one is beat people. Right? <laughs> that sounds really funny, sorry. Um, so, and you are going to put those names, um, we call those variables, a question name is a column heading in each questionnaire is a row. So, let me open up a new Excel document here. So I'm going to say question one. I'm just going to call it beat people. Okay. Question two. Um, we'll call it superior. Notice I'm putting the numbers on here as well, which I think is makes it easier. Question three. Um, we'll call it best. Etc. Etc. Uh, a little tip here: you can't actually split the screen. So if I go up here in my top right here and click this button, it halves it, and then I just come on, grab it. You literally pull it to the left, and then it kind of pops. And I do that with the other document. And I'm gonna pull it. Hopefully, I'll pull it to the right until it kind of pops, and there we have split screen. Okay, so now I can look at both. A little confusing because my head is also red, but, <laughs> um, but you can see here I can now look at both. So now I can a little easier to go. Four is outperform, five is win, six, so we're gonna call it hard. Oops, that's six. Whatever you want. Okay. Um, and then you are going to enter the data. Now another thing to be aware of is it's really good to give each each questionnaire from each respondent a unique ID so you can come back later to it after you've entered your data if something looks wrong you'll be like oh that looks wrong let me find number 227 or whatever it is and I'll pull it out of my files and I can double check it. Um, I believe both of them I gave you actually already have a handwritten the data ID case ID we call it on there so you can use this. This one does not. Um, so we're going to add a ID column which is plot one. Okay, um, so beat people is at two, polluter superior is at three, best two, four, work hard is a five, personal improvement is a four, etc. Right? Okay. Things to be aware of. Okay. It's pretty straightforward at this point, data entry, right? Sometimes you may have to make a decision. 
So this one, for example, I reach personal goals. Okay. They've circled five and three. Well, what are we going to do with that? So we know from our reading, uh, in many ways it doesn't matter what we do with that as long as we're consistent. Um, but to be consistent, we have to create a code book and make sure folks know what our rules are. I'm not going to ask you to complete a full code book, but I'm going to ask you to use the Excel comment feature to tell me what you did. So personal goals, uh, I'm not sure what that is, I'm just calling nine goals, okay? So they circled five and three. So let's say I'm going to decide to average the two and pick four. I'm going to enter it. I'm going to click on this cell. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to say insert. Oops, that's not right. <laughs> I'm going to right click. Insert comment. That's what I wanted. Um, and we're going to say used average of two responses. Okay. And then I click right out of it. And when I'm looking at our data, I'll see the little red square and that'll tell me what's going on. Okay. Another place you may want to do that, so down here I've got, um, you know, what's your gender, male, female? So let's call this gender. And if you choose to use numeric coding, which I recommend, you're going to have, you know, a zero to one or one and a two or whatever. So um, let's put zero. And again, I will right click, insert comment, and I'll say, Zero equals male, one equals female. Okay, and that's that. The other thing to know of, um, you'll finish entering the data. As I said, for each of the two examples, I have two responses for you. Um, so you'll do that for each of them. Let me close this document. This one bigger. Okay. Uh, I did suggest you do each survey on a separate Excel tab. So down here at the bottom, you see tabs or sheets. Um, so sheet one, and I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to rename it plus survey one. Okay, and then we see this little plus button here. I just click that, right click, rename, survey two. Okay, um, and then so for the, the two different surveys, um, which has two responses, so there's a lot of twos that might make it a little confusing, but um, two different documents, each with two responses. So you'll have one on each tab. Um, I think that covers everything. Let me just double check what's on here. Yep, that's all there is to it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and do it.